is Tuesday, April 9th. Tell you the truth, I wasn't sure I was going to put a video up today. I'm really feeling kind of down. And if you've been watching me for a while, you'll understand why. Um, one year ago today was the last time I heard my son's voice. And uh, he committed suicide the next day after I had talked to him. And he was only 28 years old. So I have been thinking about that all day, about how it was one year ago when I last heard him talk to me, and I had talked to him several times during that day. Didn't have a clue that anything was looming or that he was feeling out of the ordinary. He was his normal, cheerful, upbeat, sarcastic self. And... Uh, was asking me my near future plans and I had planned a visit to go visit him in Chicago. Unfortunately, when I did get there, it was because he had killed himself and they had found him. So, um, I think tomorrow is going to be kind of a rough day. I don't know that I'll post tomorrow. Uh, if I do, it'll be merely out of therapeutics purposes. I think talking about him helps me. I'm so afraid people are going to forget about him. And more than likely, I'm going to be bombarding you with pictures of him tomorrow. So please bear with me and just indulge me this one day. So today I've had very low points only because I haven't felt like eating. Uh, I'm at 11 points I think right now. It's um, uh, not quite 6 o'clock here. Uh, I I ate a late breakfast, and so I skipped lunch. I'm, I'm not totally going to skip lunch. I'm going to have it, I think, here in about an hour. And then I, I ate dinner. But I do need to get another fruit in, so I'm going to... I'm going to uh, have a light, a light meal. I think um, here in about an hour and uh, I found the trick to get getting water in though I've been I as you can see through my videos I am uh, eating a lot of spicy food I like spicy food um, I can jalapenos and um, I I like my food hot and spicy so uh, the more hot and spicy stuff I eat the more water I drink. That's just my way of doing it. I'm going to insert my um, my meals that I've had so far today right here. For breakfast this morning, I'm having basically what I had yesterday. I've got 233 grams of apple for zero points. I've got two eggs for zero points. My avocado is 60 grams for three points. And I have, uh, I'll have two cups of coffee with my half and half in it. That'll be two points. So my breakfast today is five points. For dinner tonight, I'm having another taco bowl. I made it with shredded chicken this time. I have four ounces of shredded chicken, which is still zero points. I have 40 grams of avocado for two points. I've also mixed in there a half a cup of black beans for zero points, a half a cup of corn kernels for zero points, two teaspoons of the McCormick 50% less sodium taco seasoning, and that's one point. And then I just have a tablespoon of uh, uh, fat-free fat Greek yogurt, uh, 28 grams of Kraft shredded cheddar which is fat free so that's all zero points a couple jalapenos and um some cholula sauce this dinner is three points okay um i have decided that on tuesdays i'm going to give you my tuesday tip for weight loss and um oddly enough or maybe not odd, not oddly but coincidentally 
my tip today that I wrote down last night coincides with um, what Sandy had talked about in her video earlier today. And uh, I got this off of a website about, uh, you know, helping you just have a better life and a healthier lifestyle. That it's not Weight Watchers related. Uh, the website isn't. But some of the tips that they give are tips that coincide with um, what Weight Watchers believes. So tip number one. And I'm only going to give you one every Tuesday. It says, eat more frequently. <laughs> and then it says... Uh, think skipping meals is the key to a slimmer body? Think again. Research published in the Journal of the American Dietetic Association reveals that eating more frequently, specifically eating three meals and two snacks in a 24-hour period, is positively associated with weight loss and weight management. And I got that from a website um, that goes by bestlifeonline.com. Bestlifeonline.com. So, Sandy, I thought you'd be interested in that, that because uh, you had talked about you're going to try to eat smaller meals today. So, boy, guys, I really apologize for how I look, you know. <laughs> I look like I just crawled out of bed. I didn't, but I... <laughs> I feel like I could stay in bed today and tomorrow and be okay with that. So, um, anyway, I am going to be back. I'm sorry, my eyes are watering and they're bugging me now. Uh, I'm going to be back uh, with my video of my light meal. All right, my light meal today, which what I would normally have for lunch, but I'm having it for my after-dinner meal. <laughs> Um, I just have a half a cup of cottage cheese. It's the fat-free cottage cheese. Um, it's 113 grams, so that's two points. And then the orange is zero grams, I think, uh, or zero points, and that was 78 grams. So that's it. This takes me to 13 points for the day. Okay, well, you've seen all my food that I had today. Um, I want to tell you that today I weighed in at um, 222.7, which is down 0.2 from yesterday. Since April 1st, I've lost exactly 5 pounds. So we'll see. I weigh in the day after tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. But... Um, as far as my weight loss, I'm doing okay. Like I say, I think maybe my nerves have something to do with why I'm losing so rapidly. It's not that I'm trying to lose real fast. Because, you know, I prefer not to lose really fast. As odd as that sounds. I just think that when you lose it slower, it stays off longer. But for some reason, my body has chosen to start dropping weight. But this is an emotional time for me. And I think maybe all that's just playing into it. I don't expect to continue at this pace. So um, the other day I did a video on uh, get to know the person behind the channel and one of the questions was are you an emotional eater? And um, I think I said I'm both an emotional eater and a non-eater and uh, I'm finding more and more that I'm an emotional non-eater. When I'm upset about something I don't go out and overeat or, you know, drink a lot of alcohol or anything like that. I have a tendency to kind of withdraw within myself and, uh, and not, not eat, but just forget to eat. But today I have to tell you that I had to force myself to eat. And I'm finding the more weight I lose, the less food I feel like I need. Now, whether that'll stay or not, I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that part of it does, that, that uh, uh, I won't feel the need to eat all the time. You know, I saw something a long time ago that said, um, we don't need to live to eat, we need to eat to live. I'm not there yet. I mean, I still, don't get me wrong, I still like food. And like I said in my video yesterday, that if my daughter walked in tonight with a whole pizza, 
that she wanted to share, I would probably scarf it down because I like pizza. But, um, I don't know. I'm just going through a weird time right now. My body's going through a weird time. And, um, I know I look like freaking hell today, but I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, I'm going to try to get a video up tomorrow. I can't promise you what emotional state I'm going to be in tomorrow uh, because it is one year tomorrow that he died and, and I'm, I don't know. I was, it's easier for me to accept my husband's death because he was sick and he was sick for a long time. He had cancer for 17 years. Um... But with my son, it was so unexpected. And it was the type of thing where, you know, this doesn't happen in my family. It happens to somebody else. And then suddenly you find out, no, it happens in yours. So I, I can't begin to tell you all the emotionals, emotions that are running through me right now and regrets that I have as far as my son is concerned. And that's something that it's going to take me a long, long time. You know, my grief counselor told me that grief never really goes away. And I guess people, me included, need to understand that, that grief never really goes away. It just becomes not as prominent in your life as time goes on. But, it's, I mean, this has been a year now that my son's been gone, and I feel like it was yesterday. So, I need more time, I guess. <laughs> I do want to tell you that doing this YouTube channel and talking to you guys about all my feelings and my emotions and my frustration really does help me work through all of this stuff. And I know a lot of you have told me that you're praying for me. And boy, that's, it's really comforting. There, it, believe it or not, it really does help. And there are times, people, where I just have to stop what I'm doing and just cry. And for a while I felt ashamed about that, but I don't feel ashamed about that anymore. It's just something I need to do. I mean, my son was only 28. It wasn't enough time with him. A lifetime wouldn't have been enough time with him. So I never thought I'd have to bury any of my children. So throughout my life, I had five miscarriages. And that was tough. And I always thought one day I'm going to see all those kids in heaven. I never thought I'd have to think about one of my living children like that. And now I'm hopeful that maybe one day I will see him again and I'll see my husband. I don't know. Well, I'm sorry this has been such a downer video. Oh, also I want to tell you that I'm up to 1118 1118.4.1. 1118.4. 0.1 calories. My threshold is 1300. I'm not going to eat any more today. It's um, going on nine o'clock. I'm done. I'm drinking another water here. That's all I'm going to have. So after I close this out, I'm going to go get my dishes done and try to uh, bubble wrap some stuff that I need to start getting in boxes and then call it a night. I'm tired, but I can't sleep. I think last night I only got two or three hours of sleep. I haven't seen my Fitbit yet to tell you exactly, but it wasn't a good night. <laughs> and uh, I'm hoping I can fall asleep tonight, but I don't know. My daughter's got some melatonin. I might try that just to try to knock me out a little bit. But we'll see. Thank you guys for keeping me in your thoughts and in your prayers. And um, tomorrow's going to be a tough one. I know it is. 
I know it was a tough one that when I came up to the first anniversary of when my husband died this past November 3rd. Um, that was a tough day for me too. Uh, and I think that day I did go out and eat a lot. And actually I think that day I also went and had my Greta. <laughs> Our wedding anniversary is only a, just slightly more than a month before the date of his death. And uh, I know I went out on that night and I probably had one too many. But for now with Aaron, I don't feel the need to do that or the desire to do that. I certainly don't want to sabotage what progress I've been making in my weight loss. Sometimes I think I've tackled too much trying to conquer my grief, my, my grief and uh, conquer my weight at the same time. But on the other hand, focusing on my weight loss helps me refocus things off of being sad all the time. And I know that I'm going to find joy again. And as a matter of fact, I can't wait for that day. And there are moments now, more moments than before, that um, I'm finding reasons to smile. And I know that I'll find happiness again. Um, I don't know. It's just taken me a long time. And in, in the grand scheme of things, I know a year isn't long. It's taking me longer than I had hoped. So, okay, well, tomorrow is another day. I will weigh in tomorrow and log it. So if I don't get a video up tomorrow, well, I probably will because tomorrow I'm going to be showing you pictures of Aaron because that's what's going to be important to me tomorrow. It's just to honor him. I have on my calendar to come on with a Wednesday why. So I'm pretty sure I know what that is. I've started making notes on that already. You know, as the teacher in me, I have to have a lesson plan. So thank you so much for indulging me and for listening to me and watching me cry. And I will try to talk to you tomorrow. Bye.